Tucson offers visitors a wide variety of experiences. There's something for everyone. Cyclists come for the excellent riding that Mount Lemmon and the Catalina Highway offer, and hikers and campers alike can feed their passion for the outdoors at the Coronado National Forest and the National Parks. To experience the unique history of this area, a visit to the Mission San Javier del Bac is a must. This 18th century Catholic mission is one of the finest examples of Spanish architecture in the United States. And of course I recommend the Mission Garden, the beautiful Spanish colonial walled garden where you can literally taste history. The natural beauty of the city is wondrous, and you can experience it firsthand at the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum, where the zoo, garden, and aquarium are accessed by hiking along a magnificent two-mile trail in the Saguaro Desert. If you're looking for a little bit of nature in the center of town, be sure to drop into the Tucson Botanical Gardens for a stroll through one of their 16 urban gardens. Tucson is also home to the largest airplane collection in the world at the Pima Air and Space Museum, where you can take a look at more than 300 air and spacecrafts up close. An easy drive up in the Rincon Mountains is the Colossal Cave Mountain Park, which offers horseback riding trails, camping, and of course, cave tours. If you're into fun, hands-on learning, plan on taking a lesson in the art of glass blowing at the Sonoran Glass School. Associate Director Nick Letson is going to tell me a little bit about this local institution, and he'll also share some of his favorite spots for craft brew in town. Nick, thanks for having me at the Sonoran Glass Blowing Studio. Is that, did I say that name right? Sonoran Glass School, yeah. It's very hot right here, so I know there's ovens behind me. So we've got a 2,000 degree crucible right there, mm -hmm. which is where you gather glass. And we keep that on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so the gas company loves us. There is a history of the glass blowing community in Tucson, right? We were founded by Tom Philobom and Dave Klein in 2001. And Tom Philobom is really a pioneer in the studio glass art form. And that's why I'm here today, sitting in one of the only places in the desert southwest that offers all aspects of the glass arts. We offer open to public lectures and entertaining events. We have an annual competition that's all torch working, competing against the clock in an Iron Chef-like format. What's the name of that event? That's called the Flame Off. But you can also come here when you're visiting Tucson to do a little bit of work yourself, correct? We offer many lessons. For $45 to $75, you can actually make a piece here in the studio, one of our instructors, and you get to take it home the next day once it's cooled down. So what are the ages that people can come? Depending on the class, you have to be at least 12 or 16 years old to take a full class. Okay. But to do a, a mini experiential class, you can be as young as five years old here. That's really nice. So even for family travel to come here and right. exactly. blow some glass or make something to take home with them? Yeah, and one of our most popular family experiences is the make your own glass ornament. People come year after year to add to their collection. So tell me about Tucson. How long have you been here? I was born and raised here. And you obviously know everything about Tucson. I'm always discovering more. Are you? Yeah. So what are some of your favorite places in Tucson? Are you a craft beer drinker? Oh yeah. So my favorite places to drink craft beer in Tucson are Tap and Bottle. It's got a great atmosphere. It's also got huge assortment of beers to go and growlers and they always have a food truck out front it's a different one every time pretty much you know i found out today tucson has more food trucks per capita than los angeles the public brew house has a great atmosphere board games and some board games. vintage monopoly. arcade games yeah i feel like if you're playing monopoly though and you're drinking someone can get violent yeah or you'll be there for a long time and you'll be pretty and be really hammered. drunk one of my favorite new places is called the owls club it's got kind of like a Westworld kind of vibe to it. And one of the main reasons I like it as a musician is it has a baby grand piano inside of it that bands can play on. So can I blow some glass today? Sure, you're ready to do it? I would love to. All right. So this is the make your own project shelf, right? Yeah, so here you get to decide what you want to make. Once you decide what you want to make, then you decide what colors you want to use. If I were you today, I would go for either a cup or a, a bowl because they're actually really fun to make at the end. It's kind of dramatic. I like drama and I like uh, teal. Let's I'm do excited. it. Okay. okay, let's do it. So this is our furnace okay. and it's full of molten glass. Very hot. Bet you that would make a mean pizza. To make a bowl, we have to use a blowpipe. So I'll go in there and you can see there's the stuff. So I'm gonna add the first layer of color by just laying the glass. It's like salting a pretzel. So right now we're just watching it and we're just responding to what we see. Basically, as long as it doesn't drip off of there, you're a total success. Do you all hear that? It's a total success. And you're gonna bring that over here and salt your pretzel, so to speak, and then pick it up and turn. And now we melt that back in. 
So we're gonna start the process of shaping. So I'm gonna roll this across the marber. The steel table is called a marber, so you can see your colors in there, all swirled up. Oh, wow. Now I'm gonna do the hard part of starting a bubble. So now there's a little bubble in there. But to make a bowl, we need more glass. So we're gonna let this cool off, and that stability lets us go back in the furnace and get another layer of clear glass. And now we're gonna start to come over here and work at the bench. So I will be sitting here at the bench shaping the glass, and then you're gonna be blowing through that end of the pipe. And we're just looking for a little bit of inflation, and there it starts to blow out a little bit. Now you're a glass blower. Now I'm a glass blower, that's all it took. You've done it. All right, I'm gonna go heat it up again and we'll keep shaping it. All right, now we put it away, come on over. And then we put it in the annealer, which is a kiln that will bring the temperature down slowly overnight so the glass doesn't break. Good job, Paul, you're a natural, well done. Thanks for watching. Discover a place where you can explore without boundaries at visittucson.org.